Sometimes, if water gushes through a pipe, after at first in the past it had been constricted through its own pipelines, then that is a source of great wonder and brilliance. The same can be said for language in a certain respect. So I say ni hao, which I believe is hello in Chinese. If I, if I got that wrong, then obviously I apologize. Um, um, probably the pronunciation was, was well off. I decided that I wanted to incorporate other cultures into this map making scheme. So, for example, as it is the year of the dog in China, I thought, well, why not turn it into the year of the prairie dog? And I think it is in North America where these rodents are, or, you know, small animals, prairie dogs, stuff like that. Um, that area could be split between China and Japan, symbolically with the carved out island space in the map making scheme. You would have to watch the first video, Pouches of the Earth, Happy New Year. A happy New Year from Pouches of the Earth to understand. I also thought, symbolically speaking, if you were to divide some territory between China and Japan, would perhaps would you not have the uh, the colour of the space, the region for China being red and the colour being pink for, for Japan? It's honourable to have a gradient or a shade of a, of a, a deeper colour. There are many ways that we can change a constriction into a free-flowing concept and incorporate different cultures and understandings into our life on Earth. Thank you. Enjoy yourself.